Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. So today's segment, we'd like to first of all apologize for putting up this information out there. The last video we did, we did something on editorial on Bossat One, right? We did not get it completely right in a sense that some of the things that we said, we try linking Bossat One to Starlink based on the information I was given. Uh, we got to know that that is not the case. Bossat One is a different thing and this uh, Starlink is also a different thing altogether. The person who gave me the information said that uh, the Bossat One is also going to aid uh, as far as the internet connectivity or improve the internet connectivity uh, of the people of Botswana. And uh, we got to know that this is a different thing. Uh, we know that the president of Botswana will be meeting uh, SpaceX, those in charge of Starlink, but for a different reason. You know, it has nothing to do with the Bosat one. Okay. So information came later on that Bosat one is basically there for a research. Since Botswana happened to be a sovereign state, uh, they don't need to rely on other people to get some information which will be sensitive as far as the security and autonomy of the country uh, as a state is concerned. So they are trying to also dive into that world in order to secure their private data which will aid them in terms of making informed decision moving forward in terms of prediction, uh, climate change, agriculture, and all of that. So that is what we're told. I don't want to be talking too much, so let's allow this man, who is an expert, also to uh, tell us what this whole Bosat one is, is all about. He was interviewed by Botswana Television, so let's listen to him. So a satellite is basically where we get data. So... The reason why we got here is because Botswana is a sovereign state. We need also to be independent in terms of getting ourselves our own data, not to depend on other nations' satellite. Mm. So if we have our own satellite, we'll be able to provide valuable data that will enhance weather prediction, which is very crucial for Botswana's largely agrarian communities. So farmers will receive more accurate rainfall forecasts, mm which will help them plan better and reduce crop losses due to climate change. Mm. And this particularly is important as indigenous farming practices such as seasonal planting based and star reservation seasons are, have now faced disruptions due to shifting weather patterns. Having our own satellite will definitely strengthen our ability to blend traditional knowledge with scientific advancements for better agricultural practices. Mm. If you are going to have an international university of science and technology um, for research, you really need to have your own data. So I think that's one of the uh, issues that really driven towards where we are today. Because BUIST as an international university, they really had to have their own satellite to collect their own data and also for research. So I think uh, you have now an insight into all this thing about BOSAT one so as i said once again we apologize for the information we put out there we want the platform to be so clear to give a credible information we don't want to lie to you so anytime we get an information contrary to what we put out there we will eat our humble pie we'll come here to apologize to you so first of all once again sorry for this information and i would like to say shout out to the one who drew our attention to it and which help us to cross-check the data. And this is what the person said. He said, uh, correction, uh, Bosat One is not for Starlink, okay? We already have Starlink here in Botswana, which we can connect to even in remote areas. Bosat One is for other things by BUIST, such as weather focus and the likes, not internet. Once again, sorry about that. Till I come your way another time for another content, have a wonderful day.